Hey, welcome back to Tiger Tech Videos. In this video, what I want to do is show you how to make a practice quiz or test to help your students prepare for any kind of standardized test they have coming up. And I'm going to show you an easy way to take what's released by the state as a very large PDF document and make it into a manageable size that's actually something that your kids will be able to use as a practice for these assessments. So that's coming up. So what I did here is I just typed in Keystone Biology Sampler and I have some examples here of released items from the state of Pennsylvania. And you can do this for your specific test. And you should be able to find those with a Google search. I'm going to open this up. Okay, so the challenge here is you have a document now that's 96 pages. How do you make a quiz or test out of this information? Because a lot of the released items are very useful as examples for students to see what the questions will look like. But there's a lot of extra information in here that you don't need them to see, especially the answers as they're trying to take this as a practice test or quiz. So here's an example of a question. In number six here, you can see at the bottom they show you the correct answer and they show you the percentage of students that answered the other choices. That's great information to know as a teacher, but if you wanna make this into some kind of assessment that your kids can practice with, you're gonna to need to be able to cut and paste some of this information and put it into another form that just has the questions and doesn't have all of the extra information and all the extra pages. So way back in the old days, you would literally maybe cut and paste this together into you know another packet that you could pass out. So I'm gonna show you the process I've used over the last few years to take something like this and put it into a format that students will be able to take that as a practice assessment. And then also a way that you're gonna be able to easily go over it with them and mark it up so that they can have some notes to take with them to study for the upcoming assessment. In a previous video, I talked about how to use the snipping tool in Windows to be able to take snapshots of what you see on your screen. And that's gonna be essential to doing this efficiently and quickly for yourself. So you should see a pop-up on the upper right-hand corner of your screen linking to that video that shows you how to use this tool. But basically it's function and the print screen on your keyboard. So I'm gonna hit function print screen and you're gonna have this box that pops up that says snipping tool. Then what I'm gonna do is hit new. Then what I do is I take the little crosshairs here and I drag over what I want to copy. So I'm going to copy the question. And now you've taken a picture or a snapshot just of that question. So that at this point you can go up and hit edit copy or hit control C. If you're doing a lot of this, the, the, the shortcuts on the keyboard are way faster. So I would recommend getting used to using control C for copying and control V for pasting. You'd copy that question. And then what do you do next with it? Well, I would, I would recommend opening up a new Google Doc. And the fastest way to do that is docs.new. Type that in there. And what you're gonna do then is just control V and it will paste that question into the Google Doc. Now, this is how you could put it together for the students. If you don't like the numbers or you wanna reorder them, what you would do when you took your snapshot here, I'll bring up the box again. I would just click new. I would just cut out the number and just do this. Then you can renumber them however you want. So if there are some questions you want to omit and you're worried about the numbers, just leave the number off as you take that snapshot. Okay, so you're creating this Google document here and that Google doc then you're going to be able to use as the practice assessment for your students. It'll be all in one place. Now you could have them do it online and have them write down answers on an answer sheet. You could at this point, if you wanted to, print out copies like you normally would in a packet form. But again, you'd have to digitally cut and paste these questions into the Google Doc. At this point, I'm gonna talk about something that's kind of advanced to the next level, and that would be using a separate program that is gonna give you a big blank white space that you can put all these questions on there and you'll be able to mark it up, make notes on it with your stylus pen that comes with your Lenovo laptop. So I'm gonna show you an example of what I'm talking about. I use this program called SmoothDraw, and this is a free downloadable program that you can put on your computer. And what happens is I'm copying and pasting all of these questions on here onto this giant blank canvas. And the nice part about this, if you think about the way you used to use transparencies with an overhead machine, this is sort of the same thing. I can add different layers here. So what I mean is if I click this button right here, it says add new layer. I'm gonna zoom in here a little bit so it's easier for you to see the question. So now what you could do is take your pen out of the side of your computer, 
And again, I have a video on how to use this pen if you're not familiar with it. The stylus is, that's in the side, right side of your computer, I'll put a link above. You'll see it pop up in the upper right-hand corner of this video. Click on there, it'll take you to the video explaining how to use this pen. Now you would use the pen just like you would use an overhead marker in the past. You're going to be able to mark things up that you need to point out. You're going to be able to write any kind of notes that you need to for the students to maybe copy down. The nice thing about doing the layers is when I go over here to the left hand side, I can turn the layer off and I still have my blank master copy. I can make a new layer for each class that comes in and I can make those notes separate for each class if I need to. I'll be doing an upcoming video on how to use SmoothDraw and it has become for me a great alternative to using the overhead projector and for using transparencies and I've been using it for almost 10 years now. What you're seeing here is something I've been working on a little bit for some of the high school teachers and I took off the question numbers here so that we can renumber it because what we're going to do is combine the questions from the 2017 test and the 2018 test into one large test. All right, let me show you how to add new questions to this document. What I do is I go back here to my questions. Again, I'm going to hit the function print screen with a little picture of a little scissors on it that brings up my snipping tool. And then what I'm going to do is create this, drag this box to what I want to snip. I'm going to hit control C, reduce that. I go back here, I hit control V. And then I just move it to where I need to in this document, like that. Now I can just go back to my next question. It's a constructed response item. And I'm going to, again, I already have the snipping tool open, so all I have to do now is just hit new. And then I'm going to drag it over this area, like that. I'm going to hit control C. Go back to smooth draw, control V and then I can place this over here. Now if a little bit gets cut off of the screen right here, if that bothers you, you could always go back here and then include the, the rest of it right here and line it up if you want to. So I'll show you how to do that. So let's say I took this snip here. I have how many lines? One, two, three, four, five. So I want to include the sixth line. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. So I'm missing this bottom part right here. I could do that. Control C, and then go back here, Control V, and put that right there. It's pretty close, and that'll work for this. Then again, I can go back to my document, and here's part B. I'm going to include that, so I'm going to hit new and do that. Control C, go back to smooth draw, control V, and there's the next part. So the process I decided to do for this is I decided to do this first. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste multiple questions at once and put them into the Google Doc for the students. So that's the, the order of operations I'm, I'm using for this process is I'm going to take the questions right from the test, take a picture of each question, and then I'm going to put them on this master document on SmoothDraw. Then I will, again, take more pictures of those and then with multiple questions all in one picture and then put those on the Google document. You could copy and paste it onto the Google document simultaneously or you know, right after you do it with the smooth draw document. This is just the way I'm choosing to do it in this method right now. Okay, so I hope this video gave you some ideas of how to tackle this, this problem. If you need my help, I can definitely work with you on it and show you how to do it. Since there are so many different grade levels and tests that we're talking about here, the goal would be for you as the teacher to be able to do this for yourself in an efficient way. So if I can help you towards that goal, that, that would be great. Let me know. Just email me um, at kbolendorf at fleetwoodasd.org. And until next time, have a great day.